Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is packed with speed cleaning motivation. I'm going to be tackling all of the areas in my home that have been neglected throughout the week. I'm going to set a timer for one hour to see how much I can get done. And by the way, this is a great way to get your house back in order without it feeling overwhelming. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm starting out in the bathroom. Our master bathroom had been neglected for quite a while and it desperately needed some attention. So that's what we're going to start with today. I normally don't start in the bathroom, but I always save it for last and then I'm too tired to clean it. So we need to go ahead and take care of it first thing today. And if you're in need of some instant cleaning motivation, you came to the right place. I'm gonna be going from top to bottom to clean this bathroom today. I'm starting out by spraying down the mirror with some sprayway and getting that all shined up. And then I'm going to take some Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray and spray down these countertops. These countertops had hair and toothpaste and everything you can possibly imagine stuck to them. They were disgusting, so we're going to get all of that cleaned up. And then I also noticed that the front of our cabinets were pretty grubby, so I'm going to wipe those down too. And then we're going to move on to the other side of the bathroom where the jetted tub is and the toilet is. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Kristen. Her channel name here on YouTube is Love Kristen. She makes tons of motivational cleaning content as well as all things homemaking, and she's doing a power hour today as well. So click the link for her video down in my description box and check her out. Y'all will absolutely love her. She has the most beautiful home. She brings her husband on every now and then to help her clean up, which is so refreshing to see, and her personality is just super sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to her channel and her video down below so that y'all can go check her out and y'all will have to let her know that I sent you and if you're coming over from Kristen's channel today thanks so much for stopping by I hope you'll stick around for lots more homemaking content so here are the before shots of our bathroom sinks they had gotten so gross this is probably the nastiest they've been since we moved in our bathroom sinks are of square shape and for some reason on those edges water does not ever touch it and so unless you take your hand and kind of wash it down it'll just sit there for weeks on end and we've let this bathroom go for way too long so we're going to go ahead and get all of that taken care of right now I wanted to take a second and introduce myself just in case you're new here. My name is Lauren and I love all things homemaking, home decor, cleaning. So if those are things you love too, definitely hit that red subscribe button below. I would love to have you. And my husband and I, we actually just bought this house back in September. So we're still in the process of decorating. We're gonna do lots of room makeovers this year and lots of fun content is coming on this channel. So if you love all of that, definitely stick around. But I also just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by today. And I hope this video brings you tons and tons of cleaning motivation. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. 
If y'all have been watching me for a while, you know that my all-time favorite room to clean is the bathroom. I know I'm a weirdo, but I love getting all of the Scrubbing Bubbles products and all of those fun sudsy bathroom cleaning products and just getting in here and tackling it. I love the feeling I have when it's all done, especially since we've left this bathroom not being cleaned for like two weeks on end. It felt so, so good to have it all back to normal. If y'all are in need of some kitchen organization ideas, stop back by on Thursday. I'm going to be completely tackling our kitchen. Our silverware drawer was a hot mess, so was our Tupperware drawer and our spice cabinet, and I'm going to be getting everything back in order. I've ordered some really fun things on Amazon to get it all organized, and I've also partnered up with a really fun company, and I can't wait to share that with y'all. And so just stop back by on Thursday, and then also I have another really fun cleaning video coming out on Sunday. So lots and lots of cleaning and organizing motivation this week, so don't forget to stop back by on Thursday and Sunday. When you leave a bathroom unattended for like two weeks, it gets super dusty. So I'm just going around with that same rag and wiping everything down. And now I'm headed over to the toilet. I'm just gonna use my Clorox toilet wand with some Clorox gel and just get in all of the nooks and crannies. I'm also gonna take some Clorox uh, wipes and wipe it all down. And then we're gonna head over to that jetted tub and fill it up with some hot water and pine salt and scrub it down. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I love taking bubble baths in here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this little scrubby pad and scrub it all down. It doesn't ever get terrible, but after a bubble bath, it does leave lots of residue. So I'm just gonna get that all cleaned up. I'm just gonna take my Windex disinfectant cleaner to clean down the sides of this tub. And then we're gonna move on to the floor. I'm just gonna use my Dyson to vacuum everything up today. I didn't have time to get out a broom and a mop since we're doing a power hour, but I will say that I got a ton done today. I got the master bathroom, the bedroom, the kitchen, and the living room all cleaned up in a matter of an hour. And you could even take that a step further and break it down room by room, 10 or 15 minutes per room. Especially if you have company coming over, this is a great way to get your house cleaned up super quick. All right, now that the bathroom is all cleaned up, we're moving into the bedroom. I had just taken all of the sheets off to get them washed, and I also took off our duvet cover again, even though I just did that recently, because I got pink fingernail polish all over it, and I was so sad, I thought it was ruined forever, but I ended up 
pouring some acetone on it with a cotton ball and just dabbing it out and it came all the way out which I was so thankful for so I had to go ahead and wash that because the acetone smell was super strong and I went ahead and put the duvet back on the inserts not on camera because it took me a hot minute to get all of that done but we're gonna go ahead and make up this bed I'm gonna dust down these nightstands real quick we're also gonna get the corner that I never show y'all with the dresser all cleaned up and I'm gonna dust down these blinds and just get this room back to square one. There was actually a bowl on my nightstand over there because I had eaten ramen noodles with hot sauce in bed this day. <laughs> So that's how you know it was time to clean the room. I feel like whenever there starts getting to be dish dishes piled up and water bottles everywhere, that's when you know, okay, chill out, it's time to clean. I decorated for Valentine's Day a couple weeks back and I hung this little banner on our bed and it keeps falling down. I'm hanging it with tape, but that back side of our bed is felt so it's kind of having a hard time staying up. So I don't know how much longer this is gonna last, but I'm gonna try to hang it up one more time and see how long it does last. There's nothing that makes a room feel more cluttered than when there's cords hanging everywhere. So whenever I'm cleaning up our bedroom, I like to make sure that our phone chargers are put away in the nightstand drawers. And then I also like to put that little fan away in the closet and just straighten up all of the cords in the room. We always like to put the iron up over here in the mornings when we're getting ready for work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. I don't ever show this corner over here because this is not the dresser that we are going to have in here. We're gonna get a new chest of drawers and put our TV over here on this wall. We just haven't gotten to that yet. I did, however, organize all of those drawers the other day so our clothes inside of the drawers are organized but now I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of the outside I'm gonna dust down this dresser and then we're gonna also dust down those blinds over there and then we're gonna vacuum in here I'm pretty sure this was the most organized and clean our bedroom has been since we moved in. Usually that corner ha always has something in it and it just felt really good to get everything out of it and vacuum. And so now that this room is done, we're gonna go ahead and move into the kitchen. We had a pile of dishes to take care of today, so let's go ahead and tackle that. I thought that we had something special. We had lots of dishes that just needed to be soaked on this day, so I went ahead and took all of those dishes that had food in them 
and filled them up with warm water and then while those were soaking I scrubbed down the rest of the dishes and filled up the dishwasher. I also sprayed down all of our pots and pans with some Dawn dish soap and let them sit there for a second and then here in just a second we'll scrub all of this out and get it all taken care of. My biggest pet peeve in our kitchen right now is the fact that we have lots of mismatched stuff. So in next week's video, we're going to be tackling all of that. I'm going to pull all of the cupboards out and just organize into what we want to keep and what we want to donate. And then just get everything kind of color coded and organized and just get this kitchen really functional. I know a lot of people who when they do their dishes, if there's not room in the dishwasher for everything, they'll just leave the rest sitting in the sink. I cannot do that. Let me know down in the comments below if you're the kind of person who just does the dishes until the dishwasher is full, or if when the dishwasher is full, you keep going and you wash everything by hand until the sink is empty. I cannot stand to have anything left in the sink when I'm doing the dishes, so I just go ahead and hand wash everything that doesn't fit, or I also hand wash things that cannot go in the dishwasher, and just get everything cleaned up all at once. I'm always one step behind Wishing I could read your mind But I'm ready Yeah, never ready Another thing that Will and I do whenever we're doing the dishes is if the dishwasher is not full, we go ahead and put a little soap pod in and close the door so that we know the next time we open it not to grab a dish out of there and use it because those are dirty. And then obviously if the dish pod uh, or if the soap pod thingy is open, then we can take one out and use it. So that's how we manage that. I know a lot of people have magnets on the front that say done or washing and that works too, but that's just what works for us.
once again, since this is a speed clean, I'm just taking my Dyson and getting these floors quickly cleaned up, and then we're gonna move into the living room. The living room wasn't too bad today. I just needed to get in here and fold up some towels and straighten up. And by the way, we got a little puppy this weekend and it is the cutest little thing. We went to a local shelter and adopted him. It's a little Maltapoo and we named him Opie. And he's not gonna be in this week's video, but he will be in next week's video. And if you wanna see him right now, he's actually in my Instagram stories and you can go follow me over there. My handle is warren.g.yarbro, but he is just the sweetest little thing and I cannot wait to show y'all. We're about to wrap up this power hour, but this just goes to show how much you can get done in an hour if you just don't sit down, which is the hard part. But thank y'all so much for watching today. I hope today's video brought you tons of cleaning motivation to go and tackle whatever you need to get done today. Definitely go and check out Kristen's channel if you haven't already. All of her stuff is linked down in my description box, and I will see y'all on Thursday. Bye!